Thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. Uh, while we're getting set up for the next presentation, I may just ask uh, one or two questions that uh, came up. Uh, the percentage of manure that ends up in the composting area within the bedded barn versus the concrete cow lane? In our case, uh, our manager is estimating that uh, about a quarter to a third of the manure uh, is scraped off of that feed alley, uh, off the apron. So he, it's kind of a, an estimate, uh, probably a higher percentage of total weight there, maybe as much as half of the total weight because it's wetter up there by the bunk. But I would say in terms of nutrients, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of a third of it is going out in frequent scrape as compared to in the bedding pack at the back of the pen. Okay, I appreciate that. We do have one other question or a couple others. I think I'm going to hold those to the end, if you don't mind. I encourage uh, participants to continue to add their questions. I will track those and have them for Sean at the end of this. Uh, next up, we have a Kevin Yanni. Uh, with the uh, University of Minnesota. And Kevin, I think we're all set, so I'm going to turn my microphone off and let you take Just lost Kevin. <laughs> we'll hang on for a second. I tell you what, while we're waiting for Kevin to rejoin us, we'll uh, ask you another one of these questions. Janice Ward has asked a question that may not be a good one for a couple of engineers, but uh, what is the effect of feeding soluble pea diet on pea in the manure without distiller's grains? Feel comfortable at taking that one on, Sean? Well, no, not being an animal scientist, I'm probably not the best person to ask about that. Uh, I'm afraid that I would defer to uh, someone in the animal science area on that question. I could probably provide a little bit of feedback on that. I work very closely on pea-related issues with our beef nutritionists over the recent years. Uh, in a standard corn-based diet, there is plenty, or there is sufficient pea to more than meet the animal's needs. So it doesn't matter in terms of trying to make the phosphorus more available to the animal. The animal is still going to excrete it because we overfeed pea even in our baseline diets. A corn based diet will generally be about 0.3% phosphorus. Dietary needs of an animal is somewhere in the range of about 0.1% phosphorus. And so we're already in excess. So any addition of pea to the diet is just simply going to go straight through the animal, come out to the back end, and just represent more pee in the manure. I still don't see Kevin, so I'm going to go ahead and answer one more question here. Have you seen a great difference between the types of bedded manure used, bedded material used? Yeah, we are using uh, corn stalks as bedding in our building just because that's what we have readily available at the farm and it's low cost. Uh, other farms uh, in eastern Iowa, some of them are using sawdust or wood shavings if they have local plants and can get it at a good price. And uh, there are some folks using other types of straw. I think any of the bedding materials will work. Uh, it may be uh, more a matter of finding what's available to you locally at a good price and then managing the amount uh, based on the type of bedding. I think there will be differences based on the amount of absorption you can get into the bedding material on how much is required. Uh, and again, I would just go back to saying I, I think good managers are just going to learn to watch what's happening in the building and adjust the amount of bedding accordingly. I would expect uh, that there are some materials that would be slightly more absorbent than our corn stalks are, um, but uh, I would say that uh, some of the, the wood products are probably slightly less absorbent. Um, but several different types of bedding have been used, and they all seem to be successful if they manage the bedding accordingly.
I'll just go ahead and talk here while they're getting Kevin up and ready. Uh, yeah, I, I see a question about using composted manure. Uh, I assume you're talking mixed in with the bedding pack. Uh, I think there would be opportunity to use some as long as it was relatively dry compost. Uh, I don't know that there will be any particular advantage to that over other bedding materials, but I think it certainly could be done. Uh, and I think maybe Kevin's uh, comments on the bedded, uh, the composting buildings may shed a little more light on that. All right, Kevin. Thank you. I'm back, Rick. <laughs> Must have been a little technical glitch there, but we're glad to have Kevin back. And Kevin, you can just pick up uh, at this point, and I'm going to shut my microphone off.